Thousands of kids across the metro area don't have money to pay for school lunch. They aren't going hungry, but it's costing districts hundreds of thousands of dollars. Our Cole Sullivan explains why this long time issue should change next year. At McAuliffe International School, lack of lunch money is adding up. Already this school year, students haven't paid more than $13,000 at the cafeteria checkout counter. Sometimes, you know, it's just a few dollars a, a family owes and sometimes it adds up and can be quite a bit um, and add up quite to be quite a bit for school districts. Data from Denver Public Schools shows families owe more than $700,000 so far. At Jeffco Schools, this year's unpaid lunch money counts for $300,000 in debt. I think having any debts are, are stressful um, and having it with your schools where you're, you send your child every day is even more stressful. Ashley Whelan um, works at Hunger Free Colorado. She says it isn't kids scheming for a free meal. Districts do feed them even when they can't pay, but a broader issue of money, hunger and stigma. And that they're not paying their lunch money because their their families are facing other issues or, the, or their, the child is facing an issue like being a ashamed or not wanting to show kids that they're poor. Over the years, districts have tried to get families to pay their lunch bills. Some still have policies that allow them to contract with debt collectors. But Whelan says right now, pardon the pun, most just eat the cost. They won't have to starting this fall. Every kid should have the option to do well at school, especially with having enough food to eat. And that's something that we've addressed here in Colorado starting next year. Under Proposition FF, which voters approved in November, no child will pay for lunch, which means no more lunch debt for schools like lunch. McAuliffe. And then the state will pay the difference for all meals that, so that every kid can get the food they need to learn. Willem was part of the team that advocated for that ballot measure. It won't solve the district's debt problem this year, but assuming the districts opt in next year, she expects it'll cut down on lunch debt and mean fewer kids will go hungry. Here's why, because when all meals were free during the height of the pandemic, she says there was a 20% increase in hungry students in the lunch line. Kyle. It's so interesting because we've got that experiment right in front of us, you know, to be able to compare and contrast that to the current system that for one reason or another might not be catching all these kids. Exactly. She says, look at those two years during the pandemic where it was all paid for. Compare that to the lunch debt we've already seen so far this year, the 700,000 in DPS alone. And you can see why she believes FF is going to solve that problem. Cole, thank you.